So this will be a quick video. I just wanted to show y'all something. This is what we call highway robbery. We passed this old dude selling a, a kind of like black uh, Santa Claus. He had a white beard. We saw him. He was sitting there in a truck, and the truck was super nice for a guy selling produce on the side of the road. I mean, super nice, like maximum high dollar everything you can get on a truck and a trailer. So Mr. Chef said, I want to get a watermelon, so stop over here and let's get us watermelons. So we go pull over here, and I said, uh, yeah, give me one of them watermelons. And he said, where do you want me to put it? I said, just put it in the back there. And then he said, uh, that'd be $25. I said, $25 for a freaking watermelon? You out of your fucking mind? He said, well, buy one for me or you can go pay in the store. So... He'd already put it in the car, and I handed the man the $25. Unbelievable. So uh, if you want to make a bunch of money in pandemic times, go to Walmart, buy you some $5 watermelons, go to the side of the road, and sell them for $25. It don't even look that good. Like, it's, it better be a damn good watermelon. Now, he did throw in a very long jalapeno pepper with this uh, purchase, and a bottle of Anal Ease. So this here is the absolute definition of highway robbery. And where that term came from was back when people started traveling the highways back in the 30s and 40s. And so you uh, need a, a belt on your car, you uh, you know blow a tire or whatever, you need to get a new tube for your tire. Well, these people on the highway would sell you one for eight times the price. Or they just say, well, how much money you got? And you got to get where you're going, so... Uh, the same, same thing applies here. He knows the stores ain't got no damn melons and shit. Because he done bought them all. Then takes them out on the highway there. And resells them to you for five times. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Chef, why don't you tell that man? Go show that watermelon where the sun don't shine. Because Mrs. Chef's very persuasive. So I'm about to cut this here melon open, and I guarantee you one thing, it better be gold meat. Well, it ain't gold meat, and it doesn't even look that pink. I feel like it's been done on all fronts. Not much flavor either. Well, thanks for joining me on my hard luck story. We'll see you next time.